Hey guys, so one last thing I want to say about the crowbar incident and why I'm never using it again. Hey, um, if my cousin who I was telling the story about the crowbar incident who had me using it at the time, if she's watched this, just letting you know, I'm not blaming you or, you know, your family at all about the crowbar incident at your house in the past. I'm just stating the story because I think maybe the world needs to know how dangerous crowbars can be. If you're not wearing protective equipment like goggles that are, you know, for like construction and stuff, if you don't use that stuff, then chances are you will end up putting the blade of the crowbar directly into your eye socket and that can hurt like crazy. I've never experienced that and I'm really glad I didn't. If my cousin is watching this, if her, my cousin and her family are watching this right now, just want to let you guys know, you're not being blamed for that incident that happened to me at your house with the crowbar. I'm not blaming you or your family. I'm just letting the world know how dangerous crowbars can be. And don't worry. If you're worried that I'm going to get mad, I'm not. I'm not getting mad. I've already let that go. I just thought I should tell the world this just in case someone who is inexperienced with crowbars. If they see this video, it's just let them know. Always use protective equipment before you use a dangerous tool like a crowbar. Just wanted to clarify that first to my family. Who's watching this? And my cousin too. So, the reason behind this story that I am about to tell you in this video is basically describing why on earth I will never use a crowbar ever again for the rest of my life. Even if I do end up getting a different job one day that requires me to use a crowbar, I'm going to tell them, please let me use some other tool. I am never using a crowbar again after what happened to me in the past, a very long time ago. That's never going to happen again. And if the job basically states, saying something like, you have to use a crowbar, you're working as a well, such and such. I don't know what jobs require crowbar usage, but whatever job does, I am never using a crowbar again. Hey guys, so I just wanted to make this video to let you know that the reason why I'm never going to use a crowbar ever again even if this world becomes infected with the living dead walking around, I'm not ever using a crowbar again. And here's why. Because a very long time ago in the past, I was at my cousin's house. Okay? That's where it goes. That's where it starts. I was at my cousin's house. I was helping her pry drywall off of her basement wall because she was moving into that house. She needed help. And I was volunteering to go over and help her. So what happened was I pried the, the crowbar like right in between the crevice and the metal bars of the drywall. And when I put, well, my cousin, she, before this happened, she didn't give me any protective eyewear, which, um, if she's watching this, I'm not blaming you for not giving me eyewear. I mean, I should have asked. Anyway, when I didn't have protective eyewear, I tried to push push that crowbar back, bend it a little bit backwards, so it would like pry the drywall off, except I didn't push it this way. I pulled it this way, and then the crowbar bounced back and hit me really hard in the eye, which in this case gave me a black bloody eye, and that was not the best experience for me. I thought that since I got hit with the crowbar, I thought that's just going to keep happening if I ever use a crowbar again. That's why I haven't really ever used a crowbar since that experience happened. 
I've been afraid to use a crowbar ever since that incident happened in my life. That's why I will never pick up another crowbar and I will never use another crowbar again. Ever. And no, I'm not going to tell you my cousin's name. I'm not going to tell you if she's married or has kids or where she lives or anything about her. I'm keeping her and her family safe by not exposing anything about her or her family or anything else around my other parts of my family. So, again, I got hit in the eye pretty darn hard in this eye with a crowbar. It might have been this eye. I'm not sh sure which one. But I'm pretty sure at like a 75% certain that this is the eye that got hit really hard and my whole eye was like all black around here all around there and it was like bloody right here got a little bit of red there and there and it was bleeding a lot my cousin tried to help get that to stop but it didn't work out that work out that good because it kept bleeding and bleeding and bleeding like non-stop. It was like gushing so much. But eventually my, I believe my mom was called after that incident happened. She was pretty worried. And my cousin thought that maybe I was, I guess probably she thought that I was going to be upset with her and probably never talk to her again. But that's not the case. I still talk to her. I still love my cousin. She's a great cousin. I give her hugs when I see her. I chat with her and all that. And I do love her kids. Her kids are amazing. They're growing up too darn fast. Anyway, I'm not trying to discuss whether or not she's married or not because it's not my call to be telling you guys that but all um, the story the moral story of this is is that if you're going to use a crowbar use protective eyewear in case the crowbar bounces back and tries to hit you straight in the face use a crowbar and, I mean, use safety glasses. Sorry, not use a crowbar first. Use safety glasses. Put them on. Cover every vulnerable part of your body. And then when you're ready and you've got yourself completely covered, only then use the crowbar. Don't use the crowbar until you've got some safety equipment on that could protect your eyes and any other part of you that could potentially get severely wounded. Like, I would have gotten severely wounded if it wouldn't hit me in the eye, but what if it hit me in the eye, and then trying again, and it hits me in the jugular here. If I was hit in the jugular by a crowbar, that would be pretty, pretty bad. And I would never want to experience getting hit in the jugular. And the story I'm thinking that I'm telling you is... Always wear safety equipment before using something dangerous like crowbars or hammers or nails, screws, thumbtacks, push pins. Before you use anything that could be put really dangerous to you, use safety equipment. Alright? The story that I'm tell that I just told you about was the reason why I never use crowbars anymore. Thank you for tuning in. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace. Hey guys. So one last thing I want to say about the crowbar incident. And why I'm never using it again. Hey, um, if my cousin who... I was telling the story about the crowbar incident who had me using it at the time. If she's watched this, just letting you know, I'm not blaming you or, you know, your family at all about the crowbar incident at your house in the past. 
I'm just stating the story because I think maybe the world needs to know how dangerous crowbars can be. If you're not wearing protective equipment like goggles that are, you know, for like construction and stuff, if you don't use that stuff, then chances are you will end up putting the blade of the crowbar directly into your eye socket and that can hurt like crazy. I've never experienced that and I'm really glad I didn't. If my cousin is watching this, if her, my cousin and her family are watching this right now, just want to let you guys know, you're not being blamed for that incident that happened to me at your house with the crowbar. I'm not blaming you or your family. I'm just letting the world know how dangerous crowbars can be. And don't worry. If you're worried that I'm going to get mad, I'm not. I'm not getting mad. I've already let that go. I just thought I should tell the world this just in case someone who is inexperienced with crowbars. If they see this video, it's just let them know. Always use protective equipment before you use a dangerous tool like a crowbar. Just wanted to clarify that first to my family who's watching this, and my cousin too.